Hi, I'm Clint Engel with Furniture Today, and we're in Fort Mill, South Carolina at Broad River Retail's headquarters, where we've just been through uh, the, uh, a leadership summit where you brought together around 120 of your leaders from across the company. And I'm with Charlie Malouf, CEO of Broad River. And a lot of things have happened today. Um, you've made a lot of announcements, but I wanted to focus in on one of them, which is your announcement of a uh, purpose statement. So can you tell me what that is? First of all, Clint, uh, thank you so much for being here with us today for a backstage pass to a, a furniture retail company's leadership summit. We had over 120 uh, of our leaders come in for a full day focused on the topic of leadership. It's just that important. And we've had our vision, our mission, our core values, and, and, and those have all been very tactical. And the vision statement um, really tells us where we're going or who we want to become. So to uh, launch our company's purpose statement, uh, we brought in a world-renowned speaker who wrote the book on purpose. Joey Ryman wrote the story of purpose and he works with Fortune 500 companies like McDonald's, Newell Rubbermaid, um, and, and Procter and & Gamble. And so he's, he's done a lot of work on corporate purpose. And so we, through his study and our executive team's discussions over the past year and a half, we have landed on what we think our, um, as Aristotle calls it, our vocare is, our reason for our calling, if you will. And so as a company, we're gonna rally behind this phrase. It's only four letter, four words. <clears throat> Furnishing life's best memories. And so we really unpacked for the team uh, the etymology and meaning of those four words. So walk me through it. Walk me through the four real fast. Sure. Furnishing, the word furnishing. We're in the furnishing business. It's a great anchor word for us, what we do every day. We actually furnish our customers' homes. But fur furnishing is a word that, that can mean nourishing, empowering, igniting, fueling, delivering. The word life, you know, is, is something, you know, uh, as a company, um, we've had a near-death experience, <laughs> maybe more than once, and we've survived because we're uh, a, a gritty ragtag bunch of survivors and we've thrived through those um, through what we would call our darkest hours and then the the third word is best and uh, it's just you know our vision is to be the premier Ashley home store operator and we want to win the AFL every year the Ashley Furniture League and, and compete uh, with all the other tremendously great and amazing licensees across the country. And then the fourth word is this word memories. And the way we like to think of memories is uh, we don't want to leave la uh, fleeting moments. We want to leave lasting imprints and lasting impressions. And so furnishing life's best memories is what we will be about as a company. It will be our reason. It will be our why. That's, that's excellent. Um, if I could just back up on one of the points, the, when you talked about the life's part, mm -hmm and the near-death experiences. We kind of talked a little bit <clears throat> about this, but I don't know, it, it was about three years ago, mm -hmm. I think is the thing you're referring to, but we re I don't really know what, what happened three years ago. Yeah, well, we, we don't really uh, broadcast it out <laughs> there, but like any good reporter, uh, you're gonna dig at those stories, and so we appreciate that. We're, we're a transparent group, and um, you know, Three and a half years ago, 2015 was a very transformational and difficult year for us as a company. And we were going through um, an ERP conversion that we were not prepared for as a team. And we were also going through, we were at capacity in our distribution center, and we were building this place that you're in today. And so we just had a lot of transitional elements and, and um, uh, had some some had to change some of the people on the bus at that time <clears throat> and change a lot of our processes and so we stumbled over ourselves we also were going through an acquisition at that time so it was really just a perfect storm clint where we really struggled and we had been i would say maybe above average as a company for the previous 12 years and we get to january 2015 and we think everything is peachy and we go through the software conversion and we don't handle it well um, and, and so we had to really just figure out how we were going to fight and, and, and change the news. And, and we did. We came through that period. And so we really appreciate what we have. And actually, our performance now is remarkably better than it had ever been in the past. Could you walk me through those numbers you showed earlier uh, we, as far as percentage growth over the past two years? 
Um, yeah, well, we're on pace right now this year. Maybe the most compelling number is that we're going to do, um, we, we think, between 18 and 20 percent growth in sales this year. Now, part of that is same store sales, and the other part of that is our two new stores. But we've had double-digit comp sales growth and total sales growth for the, each of the past three years. And so... Um, it's hard to do on top of a good year to, to yeah. continue to grow again. Our quest is to see 20% compounded annual growth and uh, to execute <clears throat> on our uh, area of strategies for growth in order to achieve that. I thank you again for having me and I wish you the best of luck with your new purpose statement. Thank you so much.